Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming back. We so appreciate the fact that you haven't grown completely tired of us yet, and you're finding some things that can really benefit you as you walk before the Lord and as you walk in the family of God. My guest again, David Damien. David, thank you once again for the time that you give to me and that it's almost as though I'm holding on to your pants leg but when you leave the room after the last call and you look around and there I am hanging on to your jacket and saying, come back, come back, I need you back again. So thank you so much for joining us again. It's good to be with you, Lauren, and uh, I think we are enjoying, uh, it reminds me of Malachi chapter 3, those who feared the Lord talked among each other and the Lord listened. And I, I had this feeling of that the Lord is listening to us as he is inspiring us. And there is a book of remembrance. So we are entering into that. That's a wonderful thought that we are. And so all of you at home, as you join with us, you're entering into that very same book. David, there is something I wanted to bring out from our last interview. We were talking about the bride being prepared and you spoke about Elijah and the family of God and how even though he confronted the prophets of Baal and there was this amazing demonstration of power, when the Lord came and found him, his concern was that he was alone. And we went all the way to Malachi where we see that God says in the last days, the spirit of Elijah to restore the hearts of the fathers to the sons, the sons to the fathers. Now we know that with all the shakings going on and with everything that's taking place and moving forward into 2021, there are practical steps. And you mentioned some of those which were really just coming together in the twos and threes and being responsible with one another. But I would like to talk to you about something I have heard you mention before. It's something called the zone. Would you speak to us about that? I think uh, that this is a part of uh, people ask me many times uh, about how do we come into that place of, uh, of entering into deeper intimacy with the Lord and into that, uh, I call it the zone. It's a place where your mind is not leading you. Your senses are very tender. Uh, your mind is almost unfruitful and your spirit, your spirit is uh, becoming very tuned. And uh, I feel that uh, one of the things that helped me personally in that is the whole uh, gift that the Lord gives to the body when we get filled with the Holy Spirit. It's a language that we speak. Uh, and I want just to differentiate quickly between the language of the spirit and the gift of tongues. The gift of tongues is spoken to the body and it needs interpretation. It has to have interpretation because you cannot speak to the body and they don't understand. So either the person will interpret or another person with a gift of interpretation will uh, interpret in the language that people understand. But the language of the spirit is is, is like uh, 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 your, when your spirit begins to speak, uh, there is an utterances and it uses your mouth, which is the same channel that your mind uses in the languages you know. But this is a language that comes out of your spirit. And the Bible speaks about that uh, whoever speaks in a tongue does not speak to man, but speaks to God. So the whole idea of does not speak to man, that this is not a gift for, uh, for the edification of the body. This is between me and God. And as I enter into this, I begin to enter into communion with the Holy Spirit. So my spirit and the Holy Spirit enters into communion. And as I enter into this communion, the Bible speaks about that when you speak in a tongue, your mind is unfruitful. So it, it creates a zone, a place where my spirit and the Holy Spirit go closer, 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 and less of my mind and less of my thoughts and my thinking. And as I enter into this, the Bible says, whoever speak in a tongue does not speak to man, but speaks to God. And that's very precious because God by his spirit 
and me by my spirit which is I, by the way my spirit is the only born again part of my of me when I received Christ my, I was born out of the spirit so my spirit became a, a born again and uh, so my spirit and the Holy Spirit as they enter into the communion there is a, a mystery there is a secret there is a connection that happens because the Bible says uh, in 1 Corinthians 2 whoever speaks in a tongue does not speak to man but speaks to God because he utters mysteries and I wanted to speak about that because it, it needs uh, uh, it doesn't come right away it's like as you begin to uh, speak in tongues and release your spirit to speak in tongues your mind become unfruitful and that becomes a very hard place because we are we learned that my mom told me when I was young and my dad and everyone told me think before you speak so if the words come out of your mouth does not have a meaning this means that you're not thinking which is true but because I'm not talking to people, I'm talking to God, and God understands the language of the Spirit. So there is a communication on another level that's going on that's different than my mind can understand. So my mind is unfruitful, and I need to train my mind to be unfruitful for longer times because he's resisting that. Because all my life growing up is think before you speak. So I need to train my mind to say to him, it's okay. You're unfruitful. It's okay. I'm not going crazy. I'm in the presence of the Lord. It's because you don't understand. It doesn't mean it's crazy. But I am communing with God, spirit to spirit. And as we press in that, and I want to encourage you, in the beginning, it will be very hard. It's like fighting a resistance because the enemy hates it hates that zone when you lose control over your mind uh, uh, directing your mouth and your spirit takes control over your mouth and you begin to speak you can stop it you can continue it's your choice because the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet but the point is that you need to press in and every time press in press in and then suddenly after practices you find yourself it's your entry into that zone, that place of intimacy, of surrender. Your heart becomes very tender. You will find yourself, uh, uh, your emotions are, be, are, are almost so, so there. It's okay. You might lose control over what you're saying or what you're doing. It's okay. It's okay. When you ask your father for a fish he will not give you a snake and when you ask your father for a bread he will not give you a stone and Jesus relates that to the heavenly father asking for the Holy Spirit when you ask the father for the spirit he gives you the spirit so don't be afraid that you're entering into an area that you cannot understand it's okay and I trained myself in that and as I enter into this place suddenly my spirit and the Holy Spirit become so tender, so connected. I have a perception far bigger than my, what my mind can understand. And I realize that his ways are higher. His thoughts are higher than our ways, than our thoughts. So if his thoughts are higher than my thought, how can my thought contain his thoughts? It's only by the spirit. So my spirit can contain can have that capacity because it's born again with the Holy Spirit to enter into the wisdom of God the thoughts of God it is not going to come through my thoughts because it's way higher so by my spirit I'm allowing myself to soar up into that place of the secrets and you know that with a friend you don't talk your secrets to someone you don't trust and you don't talk your secrets right away you warm up and then you begin to open your heart and if the person is safe you begin to talk secrets I pray that the Lord will find in us a safe 
a safe place that he can entrust us with the secrets of his heart so we don't use it to show how what revelations we get we don't use it to show the latest word I have received from God or 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 or, or try to prove myself I'm not less than this person who speaks but as you treasure that I like what Mary said she hid all what the angel spoke to her uh, in the Gospel of Luke she hid it because it was precious <clears throat> so it, th this time is not for for speaking out this time is between me and God entering into that that will change your character that will change your life change your thoughts you will think differently after you will act differently you will behave differently and sometimes you will not know what's going on and as you enter into this zone the, the your spirit and the Holy Spirit will become engaged as one and then the Lord will put you in his heart sometimes I found myself speaking in a language and I feel like I'm speaking to people but there's no people there's no one there and I'm prophesying but I don't know what I'm saying and I remember years later I, I encountered a, 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 an experience where the Lord was moving very powerfully and I said oh God this is so powerful he said we prayed together for it I said what I never imagined that this could happen how can I pray for it he said do you remember that time and he remember, reminded me of the time when I was engaged spirit to spirit my spirit and the Holy Spirit in that zone and I began releasing what I was feeling I didn't understand at this time but I was agreeing with God for what he wants and he said because you spoke it on earth I affirmed it whatever you bound on earth I will bind in heaven whatever you loosen on earth I will loosen in heaven and sometimes not only through the languages we know a lot of times it's through the spirit and as you begin to release it it seals something especially when things are beyond our capacity to understand I remember uh, in Amos we talked in the last uh, sessions about Amos 3 8 I will take you to the verse before that Amos 3 7 the sovereign Lord will do nothing unless he will reveal his secrets his plans his heart to his servants the prophets so in those times I'm, I'm my spirit and the Holy Spirit is engaged in secrets could it be that this is the time when the Lord unfold his secrets the sovereign Lord will do nothing unless he will reveal his secrets could it be that when I'm speaking in tongues my spirit and the Holy Spirit enter in that place and I'm talking mysteries secrets plans things to come with the Holy Spirit and all what he need he doesn't need my mind he needs my spirit to agree with his spirit and as we enter into that place it becomes a place of uh, uh, fulfillment heaven and earth touch each other and enter in the, the 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 most enjoyable part of all that is the intimacy you feel the presence of the Lord and the heart of the Lord more than ever so that zone is not an action zone it's a it's a womb zone it's a womb where the seeds meet and there is safety there's intimacy there's connection and there's a heart I believe that's uh, that's not a gift for anyone uh, it's a gift for everyone it's everyone has access to that why because all the children of God born again their spirit is born again and when your spirit is born again you have the capacity to speak it's the language of your spirit it's called tongues it's the tongues of angels it's the tongues of men it's ununderstandable to my mind my mind is unfruitful every child of God born again has the capacity to uh, speak the language of the spirit speak in tongues but this tongues is for you to be edified and God will not give tongues for people to be edified and others not whatever is for my edification is available to all of us but whatever is for the body edification of the body to some he gave prophecy to some he gave uh, 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 tongues
tongues, to some he gave this, to some he gave that. So for the body, we complete one another. But for my edification and entering into the presence of the Lord, it's available to everyone. And I want to encourage you, take a bold step and uh, uh, allow your mind to think that you're crazy. It's okay. Uh, and allow your mind to be unfruitful. It's okay. And allow your mouth to say things that your mind does not understand. It's okay. And your mom will be okay. <laughs> when she said to you, think before you speak, it's time not to think before we speak. It's time to flow spirit to spirit and enter into this zone. And the more you enter into it, after that, your preparation time gets shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter because the enemy knows that you have overcome and he doesn't need to attack you the way he used to attack you because you're, go you're going to win anyway. So he will quit, fight you another way, but at least your entry into that zone will become much quicker. I pray that all of us, all of us, as Paul said, I wish that all of you speak in tongues and all of you to prophesy. So I wish the same, that all of us enter into the, that place of intimacy, closeness to the heart of God. And as we enter into that, we will know each other in the spirit. Your whole life, your whole thinking, your whole patterns will change. And I'm glad that this is a potential for all of us to enter together in that zone of intimacy with the Lord. David, thank you so very much. Uh, and I think there is a scripture somewhere where it says that heaven and earth kiss. Is that in the Psalms? And that's what I'm reminded of as you speak about this, this beautiful kiss of intimacy that is, uh, we wonder how it occurs, but just like that, where the Holy Spirit engages with our spirits and we're able to just connect with him in a deeper and deeper way. I want to thank you so much for sharing your heart with us about what it means to just go into this zone. And I want to encourage all of you, if you have not yet been there, just remember what David said, your heavenly father will not give you a stone and he will not give you a serpent. And you don't have to be afraid of the enemy answering a prayer that you ask your father for. He cannot do it. So the Holy Spirit, when you ask him to come and to give you this wonderful connection, he will do it. Trust him. He will do it. David, thank you so very much again for giving us some insights. I can feel I'm holding on to your pants leg again, but I am going to let you go. And I want to say thank you so much to all of you. I'm so grateful you joined with us again. And I want to say to you, remember, enjoy him. He's enjoying you.